Well, a very warm welcome back, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks to you once again for retuning to my classic uh, dirt bike TV channel. Now, a very special thanks once again to the many brand new subscribers who have uh, recently signed up uh, to my channel as we head towards the 12,000 subscribers total. So, uh, thanks to each and every one of you for your support in uh, that particular department. Now coming up in this next video, we're going to take a look at a bike that I spotted back in 2019 at the Telford Classic uh, Dirt Bike Show. Now this was a bike that uh, had been through the full uh, restoration uh, process and uh, we're going to take a quick look at it now. So I do hope you enjoy uh, taking a look at this uh, 1975 360CR Husqvarna. Okay, so this uh, very nice 1975 360 CR uh, Husky, as I said, uh, was spotted at the 2019 Telford uh, Classic Dirt Bike Show, and uh, this bike apparently was an original 1975 machine that has had the full-on restoration treatment by Husqvarna Motorcycle Parts and Restoration Firm uh, HusqvarnaMan.com. Now these guys uh, specialise in supplying parts and even complete bikes for almost all Husky two-strokers and four-stroke machines from uh, 1970 right up to about 1989. So uh, these guys are another very good source of contact if you're needing uh, bits and pieces for your old uh, Husqvarna race bike. Now, on the particular day of the show, this uh, machine was advertised for sale at uh, £5,500 and uh, by the time I grabbed these video clips and pictures of the bike, it had already been sold and uh, this was just less than two hours after the show had uh, just opened. But these awesome uh, 360CR bikes were of course uh, built uh, to commemorate Heike Mikola's success in 1974 when he won the World uh, Championship for Husky on a very similar machine uh, to this example. Now a mostly magnesium motor with a 6 speed gearbox and of course that superb uh, light chrome uh, molly steel uh, chassis which uh, made this bike into a super quick uh, flickable racer and uh, once again a light alloy fuel tank with Husky's trademark polished alloy side panels and uh, I have to say that this bike has certainly been restored to a very high standard and uh, it would actually be quite interesting to hear what the new owner's uh, now doing with this uh, bike whether he's uh, maybe using it as a showpiece machine or actually uh, racing it on a racetrack although uh, my guess is that uh, the bike is still in this immaculate condition. Now I'm sure you remember the flying Finn Heike Mikola who was uh, almost unstoppable on these Husqvarnas and of course he took a third place overall in the 1973 championship on a 250 uh, Husqvarna which of course was uh, one of Husqvarna's best championship placings for uh, quite some years but of course Heike then surpassed uh, that particular result by winning the world championship outright the year after and of course Husqvarna just couldn't wait to celebrate uh, their greatest achievement and launched these uh, Mikola replica bikes in 1975. Now it's claimed that these replicas were as near as damn it to the uh, Heike works machines of their day although of course the works bikes uh, did use titanium nuts and bolts and uh, many of these production bikes that were for public sale uh, just of course had ordinary steel fasteners although other than that uh, these were as near as you got uh, to a Husky works racer in 1975. Now back in the day, uh, riders used to comment that it was uh, near impossible just to keep this bike's front wheel on the ground when you snapped that uh, Husqvarna throttle open, so uh, if you were in a hurry you certainly had to think ahead and get that uh, weight over the bars if you didn't want to be thrown off the back of the machine. 
Now the bike's front brake and suspension were uh, very good for 1975 although uh, because this model was so uh, light at the front end the forks had no trouble at all coping with the rough terrain that it was subjected to and although uh, these stanchions weren't top of the range and the latest thing they were just uh, the technology of their day which uh, by all accounts worked extremely well. But uh, one of the things that I'm not too sure of on uh, our particular bike are these Fox Airshock uh, suspension units at the rear. Now, I'm sure that the original bikes uh, back in the day had girling uh, shocks fitted, which uh, naturally, of course, are no longer available. So that's maybe the reason that these have been substituted for these uh, Fox replacements. Now, when or even if you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of these 360 replicas back in the day, it would have came with this 1974 World Championship crest on the side of the air filter housing, just to add uh, that little bit more provenance and prestige to your new uh, machine. Although I have to say, another excellent restoration from the guys at huskvarnaman.com and uh, this bike, of course, is just one of the many Swedish Husky restorations that they undertake on a daily basis. So if you've uh, maybe got a few spare minutes one day, then why not just take a look at their website to find out more uh, details. But if you were a top rider back in the day, you could certainly achieve some very good results on these 75 bikes, although uh, these 360s uh, weren't for everybody and they were certainly uh, not a bike for just a leisurely Sunday run around the track with your mates because uh, these 360s had power in absolute bucket loads. And if you were prepared to step up to the plate and try and tame the beast, then these Huskies were still uh, very capable of beating any bigger engine equivalent machines and uh, some riders even say that these were about as near as you could get to an almost perfect 1970s twin shock racing machine. Well, I do hope you enjoyed uh, taking a very brief look at that uh, beautiful 1975 uh, 360 uh, Heike Mikola uh, replica that was built uh, by the Husk Varnaman uh, company. Okay, coming up in my next video posting, we're going uh, racing uh, once again, and this time we're going to uh, showcase a few races from the Scottish Twin Shock Scramble Club, and uh, we're going to have a look at the, a few of their races from their 2006 event uh, that was held in that year. So I do hope you all uh, rejoin me to take a look at that. But of course, until then, everybody continue to keep safe and well, and we'll all uh, just get together once again to talk about all things vintage right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.